Hi guys, Nova here. So can we please just take a minute to appreciate the fact that I have just completed this mug in a record 58 minutes. So um, excuse the fact that I'm not wearing nails for you. Uh, we have a special project coming up very soon that requires us to get into drag in a very, very short amount of time. So I was just practicing that today. So can I please get a round of snaps for Nova? <laughs> Anyway, pushing that aside, I do have a topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Jesus Christ, this is really... That was a choice. In case you weren't aware, my drag name ever since I started wearing ladies clothing has been Nova Genes. I have touched on the origin story of my name several times in different videos. Um, but basically, I came up with the name watching a TV show called Once Upon a Time. There was a very minor character in one episode uh, who was a fairy named Nova. And at the time, my train of thought was kind of, well, I was re-watching Sailor Moon. And I was thinking of things to do with stars and celestial things. I toyed with the idea of Serena or Celestia. Um, and so when I heard the name Nova, I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. I loved it. When I told Olympia about my idea for my name, she said, oh my God, there's a joke in there. You have to make it Nova Gina. And I was like, oh my God, that's so crass. Can't we kind of like soften it a bit? So after like toying with some ideas, we came up with Nova Gines, which doesn't really make any sense, but it sounds a little bit French. And I just thought it was a bit softer and not quite so tacky says the Queen of Tack. I have always had trouble with this name ever since I gave it to myself. Um, nobody has ever been able to pronounce it, so nobody has ever been able to read it when it's written down or spell it when they hear it. So that has been a bit of a problem, especially trying to kind of create usernames and really make a, a name for yourself. But it kind of stuck and my immediate friends and like the local community where we're from kind of learned what it was. And it's just something that I've had well, for, for my entire drag career. Recently, however, and I have spoken to Charmaine Diamond White and Olympia about this topic, and they both think I'm going a little bit overboard. However, I'm not really a big fan of the name anymore, specifically the surname. Don't get me wrong, I love Nova. Nova, I am Nova, that will never ever change. But the surname bit, it, I'm not really comfortable with it anymore. I mean, not only for the reasons that I've just discussed that it's not really a name, it's difficult to read, write, whatever. But um, if you actually think about the pun, it's a pun on no vagina. And some people get that, some people don't. But regardless, the whole joke is that I am presenting myself as a woman, but I don't have a vagina. When you break it down like that, is it transphobic? I think it is a little bit. Now, for all of you learned people out there, you should know that just because you either have a vagina or you don't does not make you a woman or not a woman. So really, in 2018, I mean, this might just be me going a bit overboard, but I just don't think it's a very tasteful joke. Just because you have a vagina, that does not make you a woman. And vice versa, you can be a woman without a vagina. And I know I'm really probably overanalyzing this and I'm sucking any comedy out of it that there was, but. The fact remains, I no longer feel comfortable with this name. So, um, a few months ago, I started to drop it from several social media platforms and I've just been going as Nova. But my handles are still Ginez Nova, so that's gonna be a little bit tricky if I do decide to change it. As far as ideas go for a potential new name, I have had none. <laughs> Olympia suggested Nova Kane, which I did not understand at all. Apparently that is the name of the drug they give you when you go to the dentist and it makes you all delirious and high and bizarre. Which I guess is kind of a cool name, but Kane is kind of, I don't know. I mean, Candace Kane, she's great, but I don't know, Nova Kane. I'm not, I'm not sold on it. I have looked online at every single word that starts or has the word Nova and begins another word to try and think of another pun and the only other thing I could think of was No Variety which Charmaine obviously loved but bitch I'm not having that as my name. So I think as far as I know puns are kind of out. Maybe something completely unrelated. I don't know. I want to open this up to you guys. I really want to hear from you. Um, if I get some great ideas, maybe I will do a poll somewhere and you guys can vote or another video. But I'm so open to suggestions for this. I'm fairly certain now I am going to drop the genus bit. 
But I would also like to hear from any transgender people that are watching this, your views on this pun and this joke in my name. Um, am I going overboard with it? Is it a bit daft? Or do you agree it's about time that we kind of dropped all of these just casual transphobic jokes in the drag community? The other question I have to ask all of you guys is what the fuck am I going to do if I do change my name? Because at the moment all of my social media is lovely, universally the same username, which is Ginez Nova. I don't like the idea of changing all of that, but that might be something I have to consider. Let me know in the comments what you think. So. I am very much looking forward to hearing the ideas you guys have for my brand new drag name. Also, let me know if you think I'm being daft about this, honestly. I just don't feel comfortable about it, I don't know. Okay guys, well this was just a short video for you. I just want to get a conversation going about this. Let me know, help me. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.